What is up, everyone? Happy Thursday, October 12th. Today in the live stream, let me just pull this over here. Uh, so it started off really good. They uh, are here at AMD, Volume Runner, uh, PayPal Mighty 90, uh, then uh, jumped into a, a Roku Volume Runner that uh, ah, should have been a big winner. I'll show you what happened there. Tesla. This uh, Tesla got me today on uh, continuation runners. I, I did two of them. Uh, the first one was uh, a sizable loss, and then because I added to it, and then this one looked like it was going to get a lot back, but then it reversed on us. So I got out of it, um, and then finally Baba had a nice little uh, continuation runner. Baba. So let's show you that. So AMD is what we started with bar bigger than the first so on this pullback here i got long and then it came down a little more bounced up and then pushed up and i got i just scaled out all the way until this this one right here i got out of my last contract right up here at the top so big winner there paypal mighty 90 was right here out of the gates and i ended up closing it out right up here as this with about a minute left in the bar because it was really struggling and it, it was green, but then the, then I closed it. And then the last, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds, it, it turned back red. So definitely a good out there. Roku. So Roku was a downside volume runner. So when it came up to this pivot, I got short and I was like, well, if it goes above the pivot, I'll bail on it. So it'd just be a small losing trade. It pushed above it, and it looked like it was going to keep going up. And so I bailed on it. It ended up coming down, but uh, probably could have had a positive trade. But, I mean, it, it eventually ripped up through there as well. So a lot of, a lot of down, up, down, up today. It's been kind of tough. So small loser there. Tesla. Okay, so Tesla had a little three-bar um, bounce. And so I got short right here. I'm going to rip it up. Or, um, it ripped up to like right here. I added to it and then it ripped up even more. I closed it out. So um, then on this pullback here, I got long thinking it was going to, you know, continue upward and it, uh, it bounced or came up to here. And then I thought, okay, this is good. And I got out of half my position. And then when it pulled back and it came back down here, I, I cut it. I wanted it to continue higher. And then finally, Baba, Baba was weak. Uh, all all day here, so it had this little three bar bounce just like Tesla did, and then it rolled over, and um, and then it just started uh, not going anywhere. So I bailed on it. it looks like if I would have held on, I maybe would have got some more out of it, but the range is pretty tight, so price movement slowed down. So I just I just ended up cutting it and taking my winner. So let's, let's take a look for the week. Then I had four days. It's been a while since I did four days of trading in one week. Honestly, can't remember the last time I did that. So let's take a quick look of how this week went. So overall, pretty good. I mean, uh, 18 trades, 11 winners, 7 losers, 61%. You know, I just want to be up above 60 plus uh, $2,050 for the week. Mighty 90s, 2-0. The runners carried us, man. Six and four for 15, 15. And when you get, you know, like today's uh, Roku volume runner. So it was just a small loss. So if you, you can minimize your losses, um, you could be at 60 cent, 60 percent, you know, winning percentage and still be, you know, have a good positive winning uh, P and L. So uh, and then continuation runners three and three, 50 percent. Uh, not much really there, but anyway, uh, I'll take plus 2050 for the week and I'll see everybody back here next week. Talk to you later. Peace.